my only experience or professional experience that I had was just like making burgers and then selling cell phone plans. So it was definitely like a frightening experience for me to like get into the manufacturing industry. But then the only thing that it takes for you to like get into manufacturing is just like will, like it's just you wanting to do things and like better yourself. My name is Jose Alejandro Ramirez. I'm a maintenance engineer or mechanical engineer. I came to the gypsum business about three months ago. I used to work in architectural ceilings division in Norcross, Georgia, but I've been with the company uh, about to be six years. I was born in Cali, Colombia, and having the opportunity to come to the U.S. was a lot of opportunities that people don't have. I was actually part of a program that Single Pain has that is called the Essentials of Manufacturing. When you start going to like the U.N. program and then you start understanding like the massive company or like organization that Single Pain is, at that point like you can see room for like improvement like for yourself, for the company, like you can definitely make a career path within Single Pain. And I started as an operator over there. From there, I just kind of like saw the opportunity to start like learning and moving up within the company. While I was doing that, I also was going to school. My ultimate goal was to like get a degree. So it was challenging, but doable. I'm a person that if I get something in my mind, like I'm gonna go after it. The least that I can say is that I tried, you know. Within three years, I, I became the senior operator. So it's just a matter of wanting to move up and, and better yourself. The thought that if you don't have like a degree, you can't be successful. For my daughter, it's like, okay, if you don't want to get a degree or whatever, then, you know, like, I'm going to try to be the person that tries to guide her. Yes, you can learn how to do, like, any type of job, but then you also want to become, like, the best at doing that type of job. Cutting metal, that's how I started, just cutting metal beams with a big saw. But then I showed them, like, you know, I'm not just a saw guy, like, I'm the saw guy. So the word success for me personally, having the ability to spend time with my daughter, my wife, so I have a saying that it says, there's nothing like traveling the world with my world. I'm still grinding and trying to go for more, but then at this stage in life, and I'm only 26, you know, I feel like I've got it made because I get the opportunity to travel with my world around the world.